Baraka to Yahweh, Baraka to Yahweh Shai, Baraka to Yahweh, Baraka to Yahweh Shai, Baraka to Yahweh, Baraka to Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim, La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachachodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, this is the brother Yatazak from Great Millstone, Dallas, and I just want to get a quick hit in. Um, it's a lot going on in Israel right now. Um, you have uh, a lot of the things that Yahweh told the disciples to look for are happening. You know, uh, the wars, the rumors of wars, uh, earthquakes in diverse places, and all these different nations gearing up for war. You know, uh, you had the false prophets on the scene. Um, uh, you have the elites uh, doing their plans and so on and so forth. You know, and at the end of the day, man, for brothers that have been in this thing long enough to be seasoned, you know, and uh, brothers that's just coming in, it's a whole new world in Israel now, man. You know, you got... Uh, the Lord is exposing all types of things, man, with the whole, uh, the whole thing with Comfy and his congregation. You know, now you're starting to see things come out on Nate and their congregation. Uh, you know, and all these different things are shaking up the world of Israel, man, the cosmos of Israel. And I just want to, you know, get Ephesians chapter five, read a few verses. Because these are the times that we're in right now, man. You know, it's a whole lot of things that can distract you from this truth. Right? But at the end of the day, man, you have to have that spiritual understanding on what's going on. You know? So this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil, man. See, we living in bad times. We living in bad times right now, Aki. You know, and a spiritual man wouldn't even try to deny that, right? You got groups telling you that it ain't gonna be no Jacob's trouble. You got Jake thinking that they gonna shoot their way out of the tribulation. You know, not to mention all the people that's gonna take the chip because they being so misguided by their leadership to where they think that type of shit is okay. You know. Redeeming the time, man. Buying back the time. Because the days are evil, man. You want to be back to the time where the Lord was dealing with us. If you're going to go back, you know. And when the Lord was dealing with us, who can be, when the Lord is dealing with us, who can be against us? You see, a lot of a lot, a lot, of, a lot of dudes that say they're Israelites, man, they for, totally forgetting about the scriptures all of a sudden, man. Right? Romans 15 and 4 says, knowledge and wisdom will be the stability of our time. Right. But that time has already started. And you see Jake bugging out, you know, what I'm saying finding reasons to leave, not wanting to stay uh, uh, extorting brothers and being niggas and all these different things, man. And that's what the Apostle Paul was telling us to look out for. He was telling us to look out for those things. Verse 17, it says, wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, man. And the will of the Lord is for one hundred and forty four thousand men. 12,000 from each of the tribes of the nation of Israel, man, to wake up and say no. Okay? That's the will of the Heavenly Father, man. The will of the Heavenly Father is to send his son back to wreak havoc on this wickedness, man. Whether you be of the other nations or of the two-thirds of the nation of Israel is set up to be destroyed, man. The will of the Heavenly Father is playing out and you, you can't say it's not. You know? But the fruit of the Lord don't dwell in this planet, man. The fruit of the Lord only dwells in the hopeful elect, man. Verse 18, it says, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Filled with the Spirit of the Lord, man. Okay? To be able to turn the other cheek and, 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 and know what that actually means. You know, turn the other cheek don't mean let a nigga hit you in your other jaw. No, nah, man. No, turn the other cheek means be spiritual, man. It's certain things in the law that when you see it, it's going to automatically have you enraged. But can you act on that? Of course not, man. You see? That's what being circumspect is all about, man. Watching what's going on around you and conducting yourself accordingly, man. That's what this thing is about. 
Verse 19, it says, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, man. Right? You know, because those psalms and those hymns, a lot of that is prophecy. Keeping you in uh, keeping you in the loop on what's going on. Knowing what to look for, man. Giving thanks always for all things unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechakwadash. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of the Most High. And I want to hone in on that too, man. You know, submitting ourselves one to another, man. Being held accountable, man. Reproving and rebuking each other when it's time. You know, it's blood on your hands if you let a brother go off, man. So you got to be able to understand that it's the will of the Heavenly Father for you to help that brother out, man. That's why he puts y'all together. And if he can't get with that, you get rid of his ass. It's just that simple, man. The scriptures talk about being circumspect, man. Being knowing what you knowing what you're doing, knowing what you're listening to, knowing what you involved in, man. Right? It's people out here who are not gonna leave, gonna believe. The Lord don't care about that. It's people that's gonna come up against this word. The Lord don't care about that. Right? And He's giving us the instructions. He's giving us enough instruction to be able to see what's going on. That's what I'm saying. That's why you get a Lord. Thanks, man. You get your how by Shim Yahweh Shai. Thanks for being able to see those things, man. And submitting yourselves one to another, man. If you don't see your how by Shim Yahweh Shai in your brothers, then it's either something wrong with you or something wrong with them. But the spirit is going to work that out, man. That's why we got to be so circumspect, man. Period, point blank, man. So, you know, that was just a little rapid fire I wanted to get into being circumspect, man, and knowing what to look for. Okay, this ain't no game, man. This is not a game. You know, the Lord is going to deliver those circumspect men. Those men that know when to be quiet. Those men that know when to speak up. Those men that know when to be spiritual. Those men that refuse to be carnal. Okay. And with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the Akim, teaching this truth about the mind wild moth and sincerity and truth. You see? Moving forward, man, be circumspect, Akim. Look around, man. Put the phone down for two seconds, man. Put the phone down for two seconds, man. Know what's going on around you, man. Listen to the people's conversation around you. Look at the people around you, man, and see what's going on. You know? And having said that, man, Rakha Rab Bashama Ait, man, most spiritless flesh. Shalom.